about Stephanie's boyfriend. She gives less of a fuck than fucking Stephanie does, and that's saying something. She just wanted to, like, go, because she knows all these fucking idiot general public are going to get behind and go, oh, yeah, uh, uh, like, Gemma's, GC's, JC, or whatever the fuck she is, is really, no, that's Jesus Christ, is really telling the truth. No. The fact is, no one will get off with Gemma Collins. She couldn't even get one boyfriend, let alone two, because she looks like the fucking back end of a bus, except orange. So go fuck yourself, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Go All on. right, well, <laughs> say as you feel. <laughs> so, but do you think, like, do you think the idiot British public? I mean, bearing in mind, <laughs> this is the country that we made Helen Wood winner. <laughs> Good point. You know what I mean? It could, oh, ha- could don't, happen. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure the final three will be Megan, Scotty T, and Gemma. Don't get me wrong there. I am certain of that fact. I'm not saying that we're like the voice of the idiot general public. Well, what about Christopher Maloney? And what about his nan, more importantly? When I watch Big Brother, I always think, like, if someone wins, who will have the best, like, shock face when they win? Yeah. And I think the one... Darren Day would be shocked. Today. No, I don't no? think so. I think the best person would be Christopher Maloney. That's true, 100%. that would be good. He would be beside himself, Team literally. Christopher Maloney. Only because almost everyone else we like is gone. But still. <laughs> so then, um, it's so wrong what you're doing. You've got a boyfriend. You've got a fella. Pull it together. Stephanie said, who the fuck are you to speak to me like that? Soz. I like the soz on the end of that. That was good. And then Stephanie said, what a horrible monster you are. You're disgusting and no one has ever liked you. You're off Towie. What's your talent? Nothing. Now, Fair? I, th- I think it's unfair because mm-hmm. if you I mean fair enough you're an actress mm. but you've only been on Holy Oaks it's not <laughs> if you've been on EastEnders I'd be like okay I'm a proper celebrity mm. you are not but Holy Oaks not so much but Gemma's like oh if you're going to leave your boyfriend it's okay but just having a snap Look, just say I'm leaving him then the damage is done the boyfriend is obviously not you might as well just fuck Jeremy now and go I'm not going to lose my boyfriend over a snog you you might as well get the whole hog. Come you made on. your bed, lie in it. It's big Even if it brain. is in the spare bedroom. You come out, you just go, look, I have big brother brain. Marcus, the irrepressible dark horse, coined it. Nothing you can do about it. It's like an illness. There ain't no antibiotics you can take for that. You can just get a magazine deal, get forgiven. you got to get your hall pass before you go in. That's the That's key. That's the key. She should have said that. But if a woman went in and said that, my God, they'd be vilified. Well, she is a woman. She got some cheers, though. You know, when she was up for eviction, she actually got cheers. She seemed to think that she had more cheers than booze. Now, I remember Jack and Joe, they said 40% <laughs> booze, 60% cheers. And <laughs> they weren't close, but they were, you know, nearing 40% it. booze, 60% cheers? Yeah, but I yeah. thought that she had much more booze than cheers. I was surprised she got any cheers, though. I knew Jeremy would get cheers because he's a man. So it's nothing to do with him. He's not a homemaker, unlike Hazel, etc. So then... um. Hold on. Ah, so then Stephanie went to Zyrum. She said, Gemma's a fucking cunt. I hate her. Who does she think she is? She's like a witch with a pedal, shit stirring. She's like shit on my shoe, not a celebrity. If I go back in there, I'm going to punch her in the head. She's a fucking diva, lion-headed cunt. People who do like her need to get their head wobbled because she's disgusting. I thought for once that she was... (laughs) I agreed, I agreed with what, exactly what she was saying. I understood completely. And in that moment, I fell for it. <laughs> now, when someone's in the spare room, you got... Oh, put... hang on. Now, <laughs> you've, got, you've got David Guest in the spare room. You've got Angie Bowie in an unspecified room that we don't know about so she can get some more sleep. And then you've got the spare, spare bedroom. I think they put... Which is like the task room, right? It's like the base hunter room, wasn't it? It, was, it looked pretty cruel. That looked worse than like a prison cell. There was no bed... David Guest's like two gold bedside tables. She didn't even have a bedside table, well, you man. said that when Angie Bowie d- compared Big Brother Bowie. to Guantanamo Bay, mm-hmm. that you said that was too extreme. Now we realise... When Stephanie was in that room and she was like screaming, I was like, gosh, she's like an actual mad person. She was like, she looks down on me like I'm a fucking ant. Lion King. Those aren't like normal things to like shout. Are they? Still. It was a good BB crack up. Anyway, Gemma had seen a ghost at that point and we know who that was. I don't want to see a ghost. I'd rather have a piece of toast, especially in a big rubber house. It was David, I'm in heaven now, Bowie. <laughs> Bowie. In the runs, mm-hmm. messing around. Now why is he pulling back the curtain messing looking around. through? Well, he's probably like with a... Uh, 
Uh, who's always in those camera runs on a uh, bit on the side? Oh, De- Bar- Demo Barry O'Leary. Sanders, Jedward or something. Demo! <laughs> okay, I'll go back a bit. So then um, I thought it could be the ghost of Jay Goody, but... No, come on. Probably on a different site or something. No, it's always been in Boringwood, hasn't it? So then uh, John was... This is one to tonight's show now, believe it or not. Oh. oh. Fucking hell, man. Take a breath, everyone. So John was moaning, saying he doesn't want to be on Towie. He doesn't want to be in Gemma's reality show. You don't want to be on Towie? What's wrong no, with him? I don't know. What's, yeah, probably better paid than these Nenders. Um... And then uh, Gemma Collins said the cameramen shouldn't be doing that. What? What, doing their job? Filming them, yeah, okay. (laughs) Uh, And then Gemma Gemma Collins said, anyone who says they don't believe in ghosts and shit like that. Um, okay. Yeah, but hang on. That's I think this is just like rustic gameplay again, mm-hmm. isn't it? She's seen this. Obviously, everyone knows what it is. Mm. And then she pretended that like, she like thinks it's an actual ghost. Oh, it's like the what is a ghost strategy, isn't it? Bitch, please. So then um, John started crying at this point. I think he finally realised that the crowd but hated wouldn't you shit. cry? wouldn't you cry under those circumstances as if well? If I was locked in a house with Gemma Collins, yeah, I would fucking cry. Imagine being, like, if you're in a prison or whatever with her, my mm-hmm. God, that would be the hardest, like, 30 minutes of your life. But then Steph come back in and started putting GC on blast, and John was like, you're not a disgrace, she is to Steph. And I thought, yeah, I knew John and Stephanie were going to team up. And then Stephanie was just sitting there, like, yapping at Gemma Collins. And Gemma Collins was like, can you just be quiet, show a bit of respect... And then uh, Stephanie was just going, blah, 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 blah. And Jimmy Collins was like, look, I've just woke up. Do you think I've just woke up as a good excuse for getting out of an argument? It, I, yeah, I think it can be, if like once a day. But I think if you're having repeated naps <laughs> oh. all day long and sleeping the majority of the day and then getting up and saying, I've just woke up, that ain't right, babes. It ain't right, right babes. I thought it was brilliant that um, Stephanie was having to get her after she just wake up because Gemma, you could tell Gemma was like all like on edge and annoyed and I was like, ha ha, fuck you bitch. So then Gemma was doing some angry toothbrushing. Don't take Jeremy's Aquafresh deal off of him. Um, and then uh, Tiffany did that task where she had to make up rumours about people. That was funny, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, but it was good. But were they Ted's rumours or her rumours? She saw Christopher Maloney whacking off. Whacking off his shit. <laughs> Angie's feet smell like corn chips. I don't even know what that is, but it sounds good. John stuffs socks down his pants. <laughs> they were all quite good. Do you think she came up with them or Ted? Gave That's them what to I her? just said. De- I think. She- I, oh, think Ted, you- I think Ted. I think Ted wrote them. They were funny. She, but even if Ted did come up with them, she lied them well. <laughs> they were all very base uh, yeah, allegations. They were actually, but they were good. <laughs> Then GC can cry into the diary room, basically, because Stephanie had a go. She went, there's no way to have five minutes on your own in this house. Well, what about the two spare rooms? They forget- the two this- spare rooms that they got limited mm. uh, footage of, allegedly. Mm. But also, mm. if with this, that Jeremy and, and uh, Holyoaks, yeah. like when they want to have a chat about their relationship or what's going on with this guy from her boyfriend or what have you, why don't they just <laughs> go in the DR and talk? Because that's the one place in the whole house you know that the rest of the house can't hear you. I heard that they were just having a private conversation under those covers that just sounded like... <laughs> it did. But do you think maybe Ted dubbed on that sound? It's possible. It's like, very uh, possible. Like David Attenborough. So then um, I noticed Steph and Christopher uh, were um, blacking up um, in the main bedroom. Is that acceptable these, de- these days? Uh, wasn't it a face mask? Oh, okay, okay. Apologies for any. But still, if you put it on a face mask, you should really think. Like oh. I'm on TV. Like there's a green one there's here. There's a green one. There's a pink one. There's a blue one. There's a peel off one. Why a black one? I think perhaps you know they are racist, apart from Chris and Maloney. So then, um, oh god, Darren was like toady around GC again, going, "Oh, sorry, I didn't stick up for you." Darren, grow a fucking spine, man. What's You're wrong with him? Embarrassing yourself. You think Anna Friel's going to ever get off of you again? Or Isla Fisher? Mate. I or doubt it. Even Suzanne Shaw. You fucked it. She's on Emmerdale now. Do, 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 do. So then, um... Hold on. Yeah. Uh, David Guest snuck out. Didn't even say goodbye to anyone. I know he's ill, but... Now, do we think he was on a two-week contract? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. His cough did sound like your cough. I know. I've got a, That's a bad cough, you know. I've got a little anecdote to tell you about David Guest. What? My best friend, Nicola, has dealt blackjack to oh, David yeah? Guest at her casino. And what happened? And what obvious question did I ask her? What? What does his hair look like in real oh, life? Yeah. And she said, like, a little cirrus cloud. <laughs> 
<laughs> I like the fact she was so specific about the type of cloud. Fair enough. But she said he was very nice. Isn't that a good story? Did he but do his bollocks though? She said he was really short, really short, like pocket sized. So, oh, I don't know. She didn't say that actually. I forgot to ask her. Oh, well. Um, so then, um, we thought that Jeremy said um the N word, but it turned out it was just what was it? Knickers. It was knickers. <laughs> and he said that uh, Tiffany was like getting her pussy out or something. She said she was trying to keep a respectful distance from him, and then like he like tried to get off with him, swung around, like got her knickers out, and said something about a pussy. And then he jumped straight into bed with Stephanie. What a dirty, dirty dog! Uh. Oh, and then Angie was having a tantrum about something. Do you remember what that? Oh yeah, she well one night she went in the DR. (laughs) She demanded her phone, (laughs) her passport, and a car. (laughs) Into town. Now she didn't say which town, like whether Bournemouth Town Centre or like London Town. Mm -hmm. But I thought... Born with Tesco Express. What with recent events, maybe David Bowie's Uber account is suspended now, so... (laughs) Yeah, but then she mentioned Uber at the end. Oh, yeah, fuck, yeah. Yeah, you're joke. I hate that when you think of a joke and then they say it on the show. It's like, that's the worst. And she was like, you've inebriated these people and you won't switch your light off. Shut up. Also, she was dressed like a fucking old fucking tramp. Put her in the spare bedroom now, David Guest has gone. Oh, just put her... Just put her out to pasture. So... I've got a little bit from the live feed. Have you got the stomach for it or you want to... Come on. Fucking hell, man. This is getting like sister speak. This is a long thing. Come on. So, I noticed one night they made them nominate after midnight. Do you think that's like cruelty to make them stay up and nominate? No, because they will sleep until 11 o'clock in the morning. So, fuck Mm. them. They're sleeping all day, all night, all the fucking time. They just come up for a quick air grab (laughs) and something to eat. That's it. You had a good title if we'd done a podcast when Jonathan had just been evicted. Oh, yeah? She banished. That's gone now. Too late. Uh, Too late, man. Too late. Um, So then um, Tiffany was asking on the live feed, what do you win if you win the whole show? And someone said nothing. You just get, like, the accolade. Tiffany said that. Yeah. Surely you would ask. You would know. And someone said nothing. You just get, like, the accolade. Did you know, on the the first night when they went in, I Mm -hmm. saw Daniela Westbrook, Darren Day, and John Partridge Mm -hmm. on the feed saying, how long are we here for? We don't know. Mm -hmm. It seems implausible. Because sometimes they, like, extend it and stuff. I mean, Jonathan Shaban, we know, was on a fixed seven-day contract. Mm -hmm. That's agreed. But Mm -hmm. the rest, who knows? I noticed Scotty T knew what the word differentiate means. And I saw Megan knows what the word manipulative means. What the fuck? How can she even pronounce it? Hmm. It's one rule for one word, one for another. I've got a new uh, item on our podcast. Oh, yeah? It's Tweet of the Week. All right. You want to hear it? What is it? It's from Lu- Luciana, mm. and it's Big Brother's Gone Mad. I just thought that was a good tweet. Okay. <laughs> You can do one next week if you want. All right. <laughs> so then, uh, hold on. Oh, yeah, we've already covered this. This is just some of the shit that I've put. Oh, yeah, like one episode has been like really crazy and the next episode is just like really dull and boring. Have you noticed that? It's just been very up and down this year. Yeah, it's so really far. varied. But it's it's been good on the whole. Yeah, it has been good, like drama-wise, but the people are like really horrible mm. and odious. Um, what about Emma's hair? Are you enjoying that, this series? Fuck Emma. Like, when I see eviction or whatever, anything with Emma on, it's like, I just skip through those bits, to be honest with you. Because I always mostly watch it on the catch up. Mm. So, fuck Emma. She's a cunt. Catch up. Uh, and I've got a final equal chic. I think we covered pretty much all of this. Mm. But we've got Angie's pigtails. Do you think 65 is too old for pigtails? 70, what? Um, <laughs> no, I thought she rocked them well. And. Your favourite, I think, although we've not discussed it, but I can imagine Daniela's pajamas that say "classy, sassy, and a little bit bad arsy." How <laughs> that doesn't even rhyme. Did does you it, not know it? Does it say that? Yeah, that's what it said. Classy, sassy, and a little bit bad assy. I suppose you got to say it. I wonder what shop they're from. It's got to be Primark, right? <laughs> they look it, but. <laughs> Did you notice they're wearing them? Yeah. yeah. I paused them to see what it said on them, did you? Good work. No, no, no. <laughs> I didn't go that deep. There was other things on Eco Sheet, but we've covered them in the main body of the oh, show. Right. Fucking hell, man. Jesus. Oh, that right. was some. That was a long thing. You got anything else to add? No. So there's an eviction tomorrow, but I think it's going to be so boring that it's not even worth covering. But thank you for your continued patience waiting for our podcast. James has been ill, but we're back on board now. We're going to be regular as clockwork. Oh, uh, yeah. We're going to be as regular <laughs> as all the warnings dished out on Big Brother. Who's your pick to win at this current time? Uh, apart from Chris Maloney, it's John Partridge. <laughs> save John, save Tiffany, get Christina out. 
get Daniela up or no just Christina because we'll the bad RC we will appreciate follow me on Twitter